now let us move on to the some of the important uh, characteristics and formulas which are very important for our embedded hardware design process now we need to so there is a shockley's equation you can refer to any textbook or any other materials like how to the derivation of that particular uh, formula which i am going to tell but uh, the formulas are just for to understand that you know you can if you can remember and uh, request the viewers to you know study more in detail because uh, this electronic subject is so vast that nothing will ever finish and you can never complete the whole subject so learning is a process so to do that this video series will just help you or guide you what to study and how to prepare for an interview and uh, the material what i'm going to tell is uh, will be enough to face an interview that gives you confidence but uh, you know anything can be asked but i'm sure during the interview process they will not ask you to derive the equations so but anyway it's good to know certain uh, formulas so let me tell about uh, some of the uh, important current equation of a diode that is um, characteristic of a semiconductor diode equation or you can say shockley's equation which is given by id equal to is into e to power v d y e t minus y and here the i d is nothing but diode current i s is reverse saturation current of a diode n is the ideality factor which varies from material to material now what is reverse saturation current for a diode so whenever the diode is reverse bias there is some leakage current or uh, reversed uh, saturation current of that particular so there is a property of a diode which whenever the diode acts as a uh, it is a used in a reverse bias there it's acts as an open circuit but there will be some small leakage current small leakage current so that leakage current in the reverse bias condition So this is for a forward bias and this is for reverse bias. This small, small leakage current in the when it, whenever it is in reverse bias, it is called reverse saturation current. And here V T can be given by as K T divided by Q, where V T is known as thermal voltage. k is given known as boltzmann constant that is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per kelvin and q is the charge of an electron that is 1.623 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs and for positive diode or sorry the for the for, forward bias condition your diode current is given or almost similar to 
is into e to power v d divided by n v t and for voltage equal to zero when there is no voltage for positive voltage id is almost equal to this formula is into e to power vd it is a add voltage applied and ideally factor and vt is a thermal voltage and thermal voltage formula is given by this you have minus one it will not be there for a positive voltage and for negative or you can say for v is equal to zero volt your id is equal to zero your diode current is also zero now let us further discuss about the characteristics of the diode another important thing during the interview they can ask what are the vi characteristics how is the vi characteristics of a, a semiconductor diode so there are various semiconductor materials such as just silicon germanium and gallium arsenide which these sem semiconductors can be are used for making diode and because of that semiconductor materials there are some offset voltages which varies from material to material for example this is the id curve and this is the vd diode voltage this is the current that will be in milliamperes so initially when you apply voltage when the, this is the voltage bar when you apply the voltage okay and that threshold voltage is slowly increasing but your current does not increase as you increase in the voltage your current does not increase but as soon as it reaches a certain threshold voltage your diode current increases exponentially and that's why we have the diode current as id equal to is into e to power vd by n vt and s1 which was explained just few minutes before so since this curve is exponential this is how this is how the equation is derived so as i mentioned earlier you can refer to various texts how this equation is derived now this threshold voltage for particular germanium material of a semiconductor diode is 0.3 volts so whenever unless the voltage whenever the voltage is applied the current is not increased until the voltage applied voltage is reaches to 0.3 volts so this is the offset voltages ideally as soon as you apply the voltage your current should increase that's for an ideal condition but since the diodes are practically made and in practical scenario that is not the case so your diode current will not increase until the applied voltages crosses the offset voltage of 0.3 volts and for another type of material that is silicon even though increase is applied voltage it will not the diode current will not increase start increasing after a certain cut off voltage or offset voltage at 0.7 so for silicon material diode the offset material the offset voltage is 0.7 volts and similarly the as even though you apply voltage from 0 or 0 0.3 0 0.7 the current does not increase increase for gallium arsenide uh, semiconductor material so as soon as it reaches the offset voltage of 1.2 your current diode current increases 
hence you should be careful with respect to your application what should be your material of your diode while choosing a component so this this code this is particular vi characteristic is for gallium arsenide hope uh, the so far we have discussed some basics and we will discuss in more detail in, about diodes in my next video so hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching please share subscribe